Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis. I'm 26. I'm a full-time reseller on Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, mainly ThreadUp, and Poshmark. I also do unboxing and sell to buy sell trade stores like Buffalo Exchange and Plato's Closet. And today I'll be talking about how I became a Poshmark ambassador and a little bit over I'm gonna start off by saying this is not a video showing how to sell on Poshmark. There are several videos out there showing how to sell on Poshmark. I like to listen to the podcast Sisters Who Posh. There's also several YouTube um, channels that cater to how to sell on Poshmark who have way more experience than I do. I know eventually that I will make a video on how to sell on Poshmark, but I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Second thing. If you do not become a Poshmark ambassador within a month, that does not mean that you're not a good reseller. Maybe you will become an ambassador in less than a month, or maybe it will take you three months, or maybe you've been working on it for a while. That doesn't mean that you're a bad reseller or that you have poor inventory. It just means that we are on different paths. And I like to remind myself that reselling or most things you do in life are a marathon and not a sprint and we each have um, our own things that we're doing. I started off um, part-time. My first couple weeks on Poshmark were part-time and then I transitioned into full-time. I don't have any kids. I'm not married. So I have a lot of free time to dedicate to my Poshmark, um, which is probably how I became Poshmark ambassador within one month. That being said, let's get into the video. First off, we're going to look at what you need to become a Poshmark ambassador. You've downloaded the app. Okay, when you go into settings, you can go to my posher stats. Okay, so you just go into your settings on the app or on your computer, click my posh stats and it will be there. There it will tell you what you need in order to become a Poshmark ambassador. There will be several things listed. On this list is a database. It will keep track for you. It will show you a percentage of how close you are to becoming an ambassador and keep, keep track for you. On the list are 5,000 community shares, 5,000 self shares, 50 new Poshers shared, 50 available listings, 15 sales completed, a five-star rating, less than three-day average ship time, and one love note given, which is when you purchase something, you leave a review for that person. That is a love note, not, not just like a five-star rating or a rating. You actually leave something behind, so they want you to have one of those. Okay, let's get right into it. What we should do is hit the ground running with the shares. You're probably not going to sell 15 things overnight. And if you do, they're still gonna take a few days to ship. What you should do is do the easiest things first. Did I have a bot when, when I first started Poshmark? No, I did not. Do I have a bot now? Yes, I do. Do I recommend getting a bot? Yes, I do. I'm not going to say which one I have because I'm not an affiliate yet. But when I become an affiliate, I will put the link below and you can see, you look on other people's videos, you will see what the most popular bot is. Um, Poshmark is aware of the bots that we use. So I highly recommend to save time. You can even do the, the two week trial. You don't even have to make any purchases. I know there's a lot of like 20% off codes, which is probably what I will have soon to give you all. But I highly re recommend getting a bot for your shares. Starting off, 5,000 shares can be intimidating. Um, I just shared in my free time when you're at the line in store, when you're waiting for an when you're waiting for an appointment, when you're watching Netflix at the end of the day, just share, 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 share. Anytime you think about it and you have some downtime, share. You know, every hour five shares, whatever you have to do to break it up. You're not gonna have to share in, in one day, 5,000 shares. The best thing to do is go to the posh parties and go through that list, just share to the posh party. That's what I do, just share to the posh party. Self shares. You can bulk share um, as a Poshmark tool. There's like a little tool thing. Again, this is not me telling you how to list and sell on Poshmark. This is just explaining how to achieve Poshmark ambassador quickly. There's like this 
this tool, Poshmark tools, you'll see it somewhere. Like it'll look like little tools cross. Okay, click that. You can bulk share your listings. Okay, click the little tools. It will say share to followers. And you just click the items that you want to share. And it will bulk share everything. And those will be at the top of your closet. Again, do that anytime you think about it. There you go. New poshers, poshers shared. You can go on to um, like the little search bar. It will have new Poshmarks and it will have a list of everyone that has joined recently. You literally just share their things. Okay, in the search bar, click the little search thing, click on new people, and that's a list of new people. Click on their page, click their picture, share to followers. You don't have to follow people, but does it help boost your page if you follow people? Yes. So the follows, how many people you follow and how many people follow you is kind of irrelevant to this Poshmark ambassador thing. However, to build credibility or build your Poshmark to let people know that you are active on the site, I would recommend following people. See available listings. I don't recommend Poshmark being the first app that you try to resell on. I started out on Mercari. I've sold on Mercari here and there for a few years. I never sold on eBay, but I have sold on Facebook Marketplace. So Poshmark was a whole new world for me. So what I did was honestly just started cross-listing what I had on Mercari over to Poshmark or just listed a couple of new things onto Poshmark. If you're aware of like how listings work, if you know what's selling out there, that's that's pretty much what I did. It was pretty easy as far as that goes, just listing things. Yeah, you have to have 50. I honestly didn't have that much listed when I became ambassador. I probably had like 60 things listed, to be honest. I, I didn't have a lot. And for my first like week or two, two, I only sold like two things. 15 sales. I would not recommend listing your most expensive, hard to sell things clearly list things that you know will go fast it's poshmark etiquette to send offers to likers so when someone sends you an offer accept it or if someone likes something send them an offer just so you can get that 15 minimum mark clear average ship time that should be clear um if you're a reseller you should not be shipping past three days um that's that's clear. Five star rating. That's up to the um, up to the buyer, but wrap your things nicely. That's a given for any reseller. Describe your things correctly, like you do on other platforms, or if you are new, like no stains. Send them what you've promised in the description. That's that, and then love note. That is something easy to do. So I recommend get the get the shares out of the way, get the listings out of the out of the way, get the love note out of the way, get the new postures out of the way. The rest is up to the buyer. Share your closet when you're sharing your closet frequently. Do the bulk share. People will see your listings and buy them you know, eventually. So what is the point of the Poshmark ambassador program? I'm still trying to figure that out myself. I know that they give you this like cool star by your name that gives you more credibility that when um, buyers come to your page, they can see, oh, like she's a trusted reseller. I know that you have to keep a quota. You have to keep the quota of 50 things listed. You have to be active on the site. I know that you can recruit people for credits. I know that you can do some affiliate things. I know that when people first join, they will see your profile sooner than the non-ambassador profiles and are more likely to look at your closet. Like you have more access to programs, you can co-host parties, you receive like exclusive newsletters and things like that. I honestly don't know if it's brought me more sales um, on my platform. I would probably say my sales are about the same. Some really great closets who aren't 
ambassadors, but it's kind of just like a sticker on a paper for a good job. Um, I would say that's that, that, that it's just like a, look at me, I'm a good interested reseller, which I think does have its benefits in the long run. Still trying to figure this whole Poshmark thing out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments um, if you guys have any more tips to add or any advice for me. I probably left out so many things. I'm new to this. If you would like to see what sold my first month on Poshmark, I'll have that video linked below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to follow me on my journey. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.